remember him being quite the toughy. I recall. He has half of what? 435k? I don't know about that, my dude. He has half a million health. Like, what? <laughs> That's. Yeah, it's fine. We could try for a little bit, but if shit goes south, we're just gonna run. Like, he does a lot of damage. Like, I think it was actually a five man or something, because this dude's, like, damage was kind of crazy. Uh, you annoying asshole. Randomly joining a fight that has nothing to do with you, sir. Like, even if it is possible, like, we're gonna be fighting this dude for so long. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. Like, he has, like, over ten times my current health. He has like 20 times my current health. More like. Turn me in back. Oh, he summons ads because of course he does. Where's this asshole? Also, I have Call of the Wild. I didn't really use that last time. I should have saved that to when they were close to dying. It's because I don't have it on my Tell Me When, so I don't remember that I have it. Oh man, this this fight, dude. It's doable, but jeez, does it take forever. Should have got like a gorilla or something for this kind of fight. I was thinking about getting one. Because they put up um, a damage reduction on themselves whenever they get past like 40% or something. I mean, it's not very interesting, but we're doing it. Wild Call is almost off cooldown again. That's funny. Uh, oh, that stupid obscuring smoke, dude. That stupid obscuring smoke. <laughs> obscuring sands, it's like you gotta wait.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like a five man wanted quest, which is like stupid. That shit is old fashioned for this version of the game. Like, three people, you can get together three people, but, like, get any other five, you would just hope that someone else was doing it, because, like, even if, like, three randos showed up, you still couldn't kill them without a proper tank and healer. It was, like, stupid. Wasn't cool, in my personal opinion. I didn't care for it. Very old-fashioned. My flute! I've been looking everywhere for it. Yeah, I'm not picking up your quest, dude. It's just a breadcrumb to let you know that there's another little mini hub there. But we're gonna level far before we need to even do that. We just are. Let me turn in Sanctuary Under Siege. Let me go turn in this Wanted Quest first. It's going to give me a big chunk of experience. At least I would hope it does. Alright, who do I turn this into? You. 12k, that's not too bad. I mean, it's a five-man quest. Like, turning in that quest to Nira gave me 10k, so... It's not like it was a super-duper amazing amount. The amount of effort it took to kill him, I don't know if it was worth... Okay, except Atul Aman. She's a killer queen, but I'm a lizard beam or whatever. I don't know how that. I don't know the lyrics <laughs> to Killer Queen. But yeah, you got this for doing the pre-patch event for. Uh... Was War of the Thorns before BFA or was that Shadowlands? I forget. I kind of hit the snooze button on. The story right around that time, just because it was very unsatisfying to have our leader yet again be a genocidal maniac because they don't know how to write any other story. We must remain strong. A racial leader that I actually liked because she wasn't like, I don't know, man, she was, you talk about that boss bitch energy, she had it in 2004 when you played through Warcraft. And they ruined her character. You know, blah blah blah, death magic, blah. Mithrax's essence remains strong here. I fear for what will become of our world should he rise once more. Blah blah blah, death magic, blah blah blah, unite against the void, blah. Which apparently they're still going with that story. Like everything that they're doing, they it's planned out. Like, Speak quickly. uh, she's right here. Why is the quest not completing, dude? Oh, I gotta click on you. I didn't notice that part. Uh, my head. They're minions of the old gods. Oh my word. Uh, And they are not pretty. So I completely made Verimathris work for her. She made Verimathris kill. Uh, who did she force him to kill? I forget. It was one of those other dreadlords, and she forced him to do it. And he said, but it's against our kinds, whatever, credence, or 
I'm not supposed to do that or whatever. She was ruthless and cunning, but never outright genocidal. And she was never like a fascist dictator like Garrosh Hellscream was. Who was sus from the beginning. Like it's not like like I said, that one one time that he was actually an honorable war chief was during the Stone Talon Mountains quest line. Other than that, he was kind of a crazy a hole. Hell screams always upon you. You better not do stuff that I don't like or I'm gonna kill you. Man, it would be really annoying if I didn't have enough experience. We could go do Bloodgate if we don't have enough. Speak quickly. Defeat Jacques Rosette. Your plan has failed. Failed? <laughs> no. I will complete the ritual with your blood. I need an army. Like Bloodgate is um kind of the end of the first part of the story for this zone. Not zone, but like the first part of BFA. Because Bloodgate shows you what happens after Mythrax gets released, and it's kind of like the um the lead up into Uldir. Because Mythrax destroys the Great Seal and does our lore. And that's how Gahoon is able to be released. There's no turning back. Kneeing back. Help me. Did you really think you could stand against a god and live? So Jacques Rosette was kind of like a Sand Fury troll. He wasn't really a Zandalari troll. You will not escape your crimes any longer. This ends now. Why does your mouth move that way? We have seen enough suffering for one day. <laughs> suffering? You have not seen true suffering. Yeah, if this doesn't give us enough experience, we'll go to Bloodgate. Because that's crazy that you don't have enough experience to only do the story in this zone. Crit mastery, crit mastery, 56 agi, 30 agi. Damn, that's fine. Speak with Bane Bloodhoof. This gives you a sample of Seth Rollins. Nah. Now do not. Want you in the night. Want you love somebody. Oh, speaking of, I have to, not speaking of once you love somebody, but in my head, I was like, keep forgetting about putting, um, move here, move here, move here. Mm. 
Wild call. Not wild call, what is this? Call of the wild. <laughs> Same difference. Same diff. A wild call is that talent that if you create, you have a chance to reset barb shot, I think. Call of the wild. Informing the horde. And we'll do Bloodgate. Hopefully, Bloodgate is enough. If it's not enough, damn. He really had to do all those uh, side quests then. Uh, let me turn this into this lady. You know, I actually delivered the message for once. What is this? Bweezy reads the note and wipes a tear from her eye. He may choose to forget, but I choose to remember. No matter what pain it brings me, at least he's safe. Loa, watch over him. You can go visit him. He's at the Temple of Akunda, although all of his memories are going to be erased, because that's what Akunda's blessing is. is he makes you forget all your bad memories. Oh, I guess that's why she said choose to forget. i like putting two and two together now. I mean, maybe we can make an appeal to the king. What was his crime? You know, I'm kind of a friend of the king. I may have saved his life. Maybe I can get your friend pardoned or whatever. You have the ear of the king? Why, yes. For as long as it's still attached to his head. What does that mean? Oh, nothing. Don't worry too much about it. Yeah, this is kind of the official end of the first chapter of our BFA, I feel. Mile call, hit him with that, hit him with this. These ticks have a chance to drop a mount, don't they? At least they used to. Maybe not them, but like there's a rare here or something that does. Hold you in the night. Want you love somebody. There's no going back. We bad. And we even got the Tortolan Sea Scrolls too, and it still wasn't enough. But Bloodgate will definitely get us where we need to go. <clears throat> okay, turn in, they want us alive. Turn in. Right. Ride old Rotana into the fray and then find Rokan. We'll finish this, even though it's not necessary. I 
I don't remember exactly when Bloodgate became available in the original game. I'm not about to be fighting these dudes right now when I know that I'm going to have to fight them for a quest. Fifteen is so much, though, it feels like. I'm still getting regular experience from killing these mobs, which is kind of cool, I guess. The actual quest itself is not going to give me much, though, when I turn it in. It's weird that there's no uh, music. I mean, I don't have it looping, but. Okay, so you guys aren't as close as you appear to be. I don't have peripheral. I don't have. Um, not peripheral. What's that word I'm looking for? Oh my gosh, man. You guys need to F off. Depth perception. From certain angles. Damn blood ticks. I guess if you wanted to see the full story, you could follow this quest route. Ooh, a crit haste ring. Very nice. Come back if you need me help. Once you love somebody. Turn in the new front line, accept Bulwark of Torkali. Ride old Rotana. Another vehicle combat quest. I don't know, man, it takes so long for this quest to be done. This fill the bar quest. It's another fill the bar quest. I guess it's cool, I guess, to ride around on a triceratop and shoot lightning and stuff, but... After you've done it a couple of times, it loses all of its luster. It's safe for me to get off and not die. Hey. Bargain of blood. And yeah, this is like the official end of the first part. and their weird three fingers.
the dust of bones for the lower of death. Surprise. You're looking pretty good, your majesty. So, why have you come to see me? I need your aid. I see. <laughs> you want to make a deal with me. <laughs> go on. Go on. Become my lord. Grant me the power to recover my kingdom. And I will elevate you above all lower. Yes, yes, so you get your kingdom back. All very nice. But soon you'll tire of old Buan Samdi. You go back to the living lower. The one who bring the rain, makes the crops grow, not wither and die. No, no, no. I need more than just your word. If you do this for me, I will bind my bloodline to you. All who succeed you will keep this bargain to serve me in life and in death forever. And the princess doesn't know about that. We got a deal. something a moment ago has something happened do not worry my daughter i have taken care of everything our story was so much better dude compared to the alliance it really was so much better I mean, if you didn't play this back then you wouldn't like see this but it's so good <laughs> hey zandalar forever and prepare for siege. So good. Be you predator or prey. Oh, prepare for siege, I think, is uh, something else. We'll not be seeing that. That's more so like... Was it like an 8.1 or something? But Zandalar Forever is the, the good one. And basically it's, yes, it's a cult. It's the entire story for Zuldazar, pretty much. The blood gate is overrun. Quickly, we must crush as many of these invaders as we can before they reach the city. Yes, yes. Old Kazoltek, Wrath of Razan. Long may you reign over your empire of ash. Really good line. I don't know, man. It was a, it was good. The weird hidden racism that people had about this shit was like, you know, Wakanda forever, Zuldazar forever, Zandalar forever. Like, people were, how dare these trolls have pride in their, how dare these trolls that are a foil for, you know, like. Caribbean black people. I don't know how else you would describe it. Like people from the Caribbean. Or even Africa. Like actual Africans. How dare they have pride in their culture and country. It was, um, I don't know. Gross. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Too many are getting past us. Make for the bridge to Dazaralo. We can force them. Force them to what? Go, little king. I shall swallow any who try to follow you. Talanji, take the horde champion and master our forces there. I will work with Kragwa to secure the sliver. Be careful, father. These are plans long set by an enemy beyond our reckoning. Something drives the Sethra to attack. They are swarming like never before. This champion tells us that Mithrax the Unravra has arisen. Well, that is inconvenient. There's a Kunda, like all the lower. Well, even Kimball's here, but we didn't really see Kimball. That was something we could have done. Zokalo, you say? All oh, right, here they are. They still give me experience. Like I'm. I guess that's where all your experience comes from. If you choose to stay in these zones, is killing mobs, which sounds hella boring, but to each their own. Yeah, you know. You do you, boo. Like, not only to see the end of the first part for Alliance did you have to do a bunch of dungeons, it was just about Jaina. Freeing Jaina from the mind prison. And I don't know. I'm not huge into Jaina Proud more like a lot of people are. I'm sorry, Arthas, but I can't join you. Yeah, whatever. Won't you win the night? Yeah, doing this scenario gives you a decent chunk of, uh, like, experience from killing mobs. The Tiger Loa Kimbul. Um, any more? There's a couple of people in here. Or just one. Literally one. Come to trade. Yeah, I mean, I had to do that stuff to unlock, um... Or try to unlock anyway. Colt here and humans. Who was it for this expansion? Was it Dark Iron and Colt here and human? Was that BFA? Have anything ancient to trade? For us, it was Maghar, Orc, and Volpira. Even though they said they weren't going to have Volpira as an allied race. It was either they were lying to... Like, no, oh, we're not going to do that. Or they really weren't and then they did it for reasons. 
They probably were lying, though, just because they... <clears throat> Everything is pre-planned. It's not like all of a sudden they would just give you an allied race that they didn't plan to give you. It's just that somebody kind of spoiled it whenever you could use them in the... Um, so on something like Wowhead, there's a... Hang on, I have to concentrate a little here. It's like a model viewer on Wowhead. And, uh... When they saw that... No! Not the caravan of the sword. When they saw that Volpira could be viewed in the model viewer, they, like, assumed that... Already that they were going to be allied races. Yeah, there's Kimball, like I said, we never saw him. Hiloa and I will hold off Mithrax for as long as possible. Find my father. Too many sided with Zul. There is only one path forward. One sound. Easy now, your majesty. One sound are always a big friend. <laughs> Don't be lazy now. Take up your spears again and fight! I'll oh, just keep running. Okay, do I have to actually fight some of these dudes, or...? Yep. Okay, that dude didn't give me experience. All the Sethrak dudes did, which is kind of... ...interesting, I guess. Gahoon be everywhere! Mechanics? I'm not used to this. Ooh. I mean, the fact that Zul could hold his own against the king with him being empowered is crazy. It just shows you that Zul was still, like, a pretty good fighter, I guess. Just long enough. Like, Zul basically let him kill him. Look 
Congratulations, your majesty. The kingdom is ours. You're like, oh man, what did I just come to the realization? Oh, I made a pact with the death lord. I don't think we see King Rastakhan in Shadowlands anywhere. I don't remember seeing him anyway. You stand before King Rast. Very good. Well, it was slightly different than the original thing that we did. But uh, I hope that you had a good time. <laughs>